All right, what's up my brothers from another mother in this video i'm covering a requested sponsor topic from a gentleman that uh, wants to get a opinion on dating western women uh, we'll hop straight into this i'll read the request and then offer some feedback he says i've been following your channel for a couple of years now and touched on the subject of dating forum women before um, i'll offer my opinion again after i've done reading this it's not very long i'm a 43 year old south african born british man and have been living and working in east asia for the last nine years I've been in Korea, Japan specifically. Both these countries are first world countries and the quality of life is good. Uh, the women are all very well educated, but more importantly, they take a lot of pride in appearance. And most importantly, they're extremely feminine, which is important to me. Why wouldn't that be? Of course it should be. Um, they also play the role of being a woman well and take really good care of the man in their life. So it brings me to my point. I know you mentioned cultural differences can be an issue in relationships, but as Western men, do we have a choice if you look at the state of Western of women in the West? Uh, I have personally avoided dating Western women, especially here in Asia, because most of the Western women here are uh, overweight, masculine, and angry at the world. That's strange. It doesn't change. It doesn't matter where you go, does it? So maybe the cultural differences are worth it if you compare it with all the BS we have to deal with modern women in the West. I think Asia and a few other spots in the world are the last outposts of true femininity. Um, yeah, you're probably right. Um, I mean, you, you, like you will find some pockets of it in Western countries, but for the most part, yes, it's more of a cultural norm in certain Asian countries. Uh, even certain Latin American countries as well, where you will get more true femininity. Uh, I'd like to get your take on dating Western women and is it worth it? Uh, thanks for the awesome channel. Looking forward to the video. Please keep my name anonymous. Refer me to as HR. All right, HR. So um, for those of you that haven't seen or missed any of my points in the past about um, the dangers of the cultural differences or more specifically bringing... Um, let's just call it strange back to the West. They're not familiar with the culture. And a lot of guys have this uh, preconceived notion. You'll see a lot of TV shows, like there's TV shows on, on, on a TS, TLC, uh, 90 Day Fiance, and there's a few other ones uh, I've seen on Netflix as well, where there's some random British bloke in his you know mid 40s who's done awful with women. He's like a three out of 10, and he thinks that if he can go to Asia, he'll bring back a Filipino or a Thai or... Uh, somewhere in Latin America bride and everything will be tickety boo and they find out uh, that it doesn't work out that way and it makes for great television. So for the most part, the thing that you have to understand about um, Strange coming back to the West is they will at some point revert back to or start to adapt their uh, beliefs of the new environment. Uh, I've talked to a ton of guys. I've coached a lot of guys um, that are going through the divorce machine. And there's always somebody that pops up every few months that gets involved with a Asian or a Latin American woman thinking that they're going to be different. They're a special unicorn. But again, you know, you take them from their environment, you bring them here. They will adopt the lifestyles and the beliefs of um, modern toxic feminism because it is toxic in the sense you know it spreads like cancer so uh she will more than likely adopt it so if you're going to do it my recommendation is go there and stay there uh you don't go there and bring back so as far as uh hr's point here uh he was basically asking uh i would like to get your take on dating western women if it's worth it and he also mentioned something about the cultural differences which i've pointed to before so what i mean by that is let's say you go to japan um, Japanese, generally speaking, are, I mean, generally speaking in many Asian uh, countries, like the first world style Asian countries, Japan, uh, you know, South Korea, for example, um, if you go there and you're not Asian, they're quite racist. You know, they're, they're going to give you a hard time if you're not familiar or aren't part of their culture, um, for the most part. That being said, it's probably not 100% true all of the time. Um, if you if you bring enough value to the table as a man, uh, and you have to remember that, they're, that their family is going to be heavily involved or they're going to try to influence or have heavy involvement in your life. So those are a couple of the things that I would that I would set strong boundaries around. Like if you want to get involved with a chick in uh, Asia, Japan, South Korea, let's say, let's just use uh, Japan and South Korea as the examples. 
and you find out that they're trying to run your life, run the show, um, heavily metal in your personal life, it's a big fat no. I don't care how, how pretty she is. I mean, you could look at her and go, oh, wow, she's a 17 out of 10. It doesn't matter. It's not worth the aggravation. It's, you know, it's not worth the exposure to risk when it comes especially to your uh, assets and wealth. Uh, they, are, they, well, more specifically, she and they, if her, if her, if her extended family wants to have any kind of involvement uh, and time exposed to you, uh, they, they have to enter your frame. Um, and the only way that that's going to happen is if you're a high value guy. If you're not a high value guy, if you're one of these lower value guys that goes to Asia, um, and then they'll go live somewhere like Thailand or the Philippines, and they go and cash out everything they have, like. I don't know, half a million bucks. They can live pretty well over there. Um, but at the end of the day, you're not a high value guy. You're probably not running a six or seven figure business uh, location independent. You're probably not uh, sitting on a ton of real estate with big, you know, loads of uh, passive income. So it really all depends on your value. And if you're a high enough value guy, then you might have the ability to exercise, you know, flex obviously and exercise uh, some frame control. If you're not, you're going to struggle with it. Um, so those are my views on those topics, which, which you kind of breeze over. I know you've, uh, you know, watched some other videos of me talking about it. Uh, let me hit on your question of, I'd like to get your take on dating Western women and is it worth it? Well, here's my take on Western women. So hi, I live in the West. I live in Canada. Um, there's a lot like <laughs> a buddy of mine once said to me, he goes, um, he goes, Rich, you know, you're going to have to dig through a lot of dirt to find gold. And we were talking about women in general, because at the time, I think I was probably expressing some grievances and some frustration around um, women in general and the kind of results I was getting. And I wasn't particularly high value at the time. Um, and I was probably uh, subscribed to the same blue pill notion, you know, the old world order that if you're just a good guy and if you have a salary job that pays you like, like six figures, like $100,000 a year, uh, everything will be just fine. That's really not enough anymore. So um, when it comes to Western women, the thing that you have to understand or let's just general, generalize it, you know, to women in general. The thing that you have to understand, HR, is that women are pretty much women all the way around the world. All women are hypergamous, your sister, your mom, uh, you know, your daughters will be. That is just female nature. All women are solipsistic. They have a hard time seeing past their nose. And, and that's not a disparaging statement. None of those things are. It's just the reality of the world. And it's why, uh, you know, sapiens as a species has done so well on planet Earth. Uh, because women are quite selfish in the way that they raise themselves and their offspring. So that's fine. You know, you just have to understand that. But are Western women worth it? Well, I'm in a non-cohab LTR with a Western woman right now, and she totally compliments my life. Um, there are good women out there. Uh, they are hard to find. Like my friend said many years ago, you're going to have to dig through a lot of dirt to find gold. Um, the amount of success you're going to have in, you know, looking for that gold nugget, let's say, if this is the uh, way that you want to describe it, is I suppose if you're a higher value guy that understands red pill and female nature and can enforce boundaries and doesn't expose himself to risk, like IE, you know, getting married, you know, for example, um, you can have a great experience with, uh, you know, a woman or women from the West, provided that you are okay, um, you know, with things not working out, you know, most of the, most of the guys that I end up talking to, uh, I end up talking to them or, or getting on one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with them because um, their beliefs when it comes to women don't align with the reality with women's behavior. And if you're watching this video right now, if you go to my channel and at the top and go to the playlist that says Red Pill for Men, there's probably well over 100 videos there. That's pretty much all of those videos. Like every single one of those videos deals with a tenant, a concept, something like an old world belief that you need to let go of and update with a new belief that will serve you better to get greater results in your own life with women. And the other thing to you guys is, I feel like I almost have to say this in every video now, but you're not doing this to get the girls. You're not doing this to get chicks. You're doing this for you. You're doing this to, to improve your life, to give yourself more options to a greater social uh, network. If you're into toys, boats, cars, planes, shit like that, you're doing it so that you can do what you want in your life. You're not doing it to get the girls. You're not buying a big house or a fancy car to get the girls. You're buying a fancy car because you like fancy cars. Uh, you're buying a nice 
German car because you want a comfortable car that sounds dope and goes fast and has all kinds of cool trinkets on the inside or you're driving an exotic car because you like fast cars and you hang out with friends that you know do the same sort of thing um, you know there's a great misconception out there from many many men that there's dudes that are higher value than them that are only doing it because they're pussy hounds and they're doing it to put women up on a pedestal and nothing could be farther from the truth. I mean, I'm sure there's some men out there that do do that and that might be the main reason why they've worked their ass off and, and they've had some degree of success. But at the same time, if you're not navigating life with a red pill lens, uh, at some point, you're going to lose a lot of that when you start making some bad choices with women. If you invite the wrong woman into your life, if you invite you know, the wrong woman in your house, if you get married to the wrong woman, you can really lose a good chunk of that success that you've had. And I've seen men do things, you know, like I've seen men take permanent steps to temporary problems in their lives um, simply because they, you know, were world-class at business. They were world-class at getting their tech startup off the ground or wherever the hell it is and, you know, growing a, a massive business, generating huge amounts of passive income or, or, or raising, you know, round after round of angel investing. But because they suck with women and they refuse to accept the reality of the sexual marketplace being different from what they've been told it is, um, they just they just kind of collapse on themselves. So yes, uh, to your point, HR, uh, yes, I believe that you can get good results with Western women. But again, um, it's it should be the byproduct of you chasing excellence, not women. It like you finding. And if it's just one that you want or multiples entirely up to you, but if, but if one enters your frame and you find that, uh, you know, she ticks off just about every box and, uh, she compliments your life and things improve in your life with her around, um, you'll find that, um, it doesn't matter where she comes from, man. You know, she could be from Asia. She could be from, um, you know, the West, she could be from Europe, Mediterranean, Africa, doesn't matter. Um, there's, there's still some uh, good women in the world, but the thing that you've got to remember is they're all women. They're all going to have the same baseline female nature. Uh, women are always going to ask themselves, is this man the best that I can do? And if you're a top shelf man, when you guys meet and three to five years down the road, you become lazy, fat, stupid, you, you know, you're not making money anymore. You're, uh, you know, your health declines because you're not making good choices, all of those things. Uh, don't be surprised if she picks up and goes on you, right? Um, you know, she's only going to be around so long as she sees you as her best option. So with that being said, I hope this helps. What I'm going to do is, uh, let me just minimize this over here and show a couple of options. So over here, guys, if you want to request a video um, for a, a topic or a topic suggestion like this gentleman did. I'll put a link below, actually a card up on the top right. I gotta put my finger this way. Um, you just fill out this screen over here and you sponsor the topic. And if you're also interested in joining a community of like-minded men, uh, I have a men's community, I call it the 1%, a lot of dudes in there chasing excellence in life, not women, putting their dent in the universe and trying to figure out the best way uh, to make more money, more muscles and more bank. So I'll put a card up for that on the top right as well. Leave a comment below. If you have some feedback for this guy with his request, uh, smash the like button. The algorithms love it when you do that. See you guys in the next video. Peace.